I made this box. It makes treasures appear when no one is around. But if you get too close, the treasure will disappear. find out how this box was made and how it works. Stay tuned. The desert. This is the place where you can find Fata Morganas. A mirage. Something only visible from a distance, but when you get close, it disappears. <laughs> and this is what we're building today. A machine that makes treasures disappear once you get close. It all began when I found this smart window display on AliExpress. Normally you can't see through the foil, but when you press the button, you can. So my girlfriend said, why not put this somewhere public and put a picture of a naked woman behind it. And when people draw closer to look at it, you make it opaque again, so they can't see it. And that gave me the more publicly testable idea of making a treasure box. So we need some treasures. I think ordering these on AliExpress might have put me on some watch list somewhere. And what else? Hmm, some gold bars and the pearl necklace. So here's the concept for this machine. I'm building a rotating platform with four partitions. One of them is empty and the other three contain the treasures. If you create a very limited viewport like this, it might actually seem like it's showing you the same physical space. So when I first showed you this box, did you instantly understand the magic trick? Or only after I just showed it to you? Be honest and put your comment down below. All right, let's take a look at the cat model. The small part in the front keeps the smart window in place and the lights. And behind it, you see the four partitions with treasures. On the bottom, we have a stepper motor with our homing system and a place to put a PCB. I used dovetails for the first time to make this part printable on my Bamboo Lab A1. I got this printer two months ago and I'm still really happy with it. I got curious about the control box for this smart window, like from two AA batteries, how much voltage does it generate? Even after using Google Translate on this Chinese word, I couldn't find any information regarding this circuit board. I used the oscilloscope to find out. I gave myself quite a nasty shock while working on this, but I made it so that it works without the manual push button. I added more electronics and then I was ready to make our first prototype with a blinking smart window, the stepper motor with a stepper driver, an Arduino with a whole bunch of control electronics and an LED light string. And of course a radar sensor to see if anyone is approaching our treasure. Alright, let's leave that wire mess behind us and create a nice PCB. I'm using KeyCut to draw it and I ordered through PCBWay. All you have to do is export the stuff from KeyCut and go to PCBWay.com. There you can specify which color you like for your board and way more options. I mean, this looks a lot better than the wire mess we had before, right? Thanks for sponsoring this video, PCB Way. All right, it's assembly time. Ah oh man, that's really satisfying. It did take me four attempts to get it right. The trick for me was to leave zero millimeters tolerance between the two parts that were 3D printed. I must have made a small error in cut because the second half didn't fit. But no worries, I have power tools. Looking nice, right? I was particularly proud of making a homing system. This is the first time I made my own homing system. I made just one mistake on the PCB and luckily it was a quick fix. Looking good, right? I think we can make the outer shell for the machine now.
I love that my makerspace has so many wood clamps. If you want to take a look inside my makerspace, check out this video where I give a tour. Let's put in a radar sensor. I made these small covers so you don't really see the radar sensor. And I added the second one for symmetry. And I figured having this terracotta type paint would fit the style of the Vater Morgana desert in the best way. Oh, and if you'd like to see your own name in my videos and support me in the best possible way, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Ah, uh, look at all those fine, fine treasures. I spent about an afternoon writing the code for this thing to work. And as usual, you can find the code to this project on my Patreon. Ah, I love to see that homing mechanism. And then this is our final result. Well, let's test it. I hope it perfectly works now. I like this. This is cool. I decided to test my contraption on an unsuspecting crowd at the Maker Fair in my hometown. And I'm looking forward to see what people think of this. Lagen de goudstaven. Is er al? Kom maar eens kijken dan. Dat is geen schermpje. Dan komt er een schat tevoorschijn. Hey, kom maar kijken, kom maar dichterbij om te zien. I would have figured that anyone would see pretty quickly that it's four compartments in a rotator in here. Because this thing is huge. But actually hardly anyone figured it out. <laughs> oh, maar. En alleen als je verder dan 2 meter, als er niemand dichterbij dan 2 meter staat, alleen dan laat hij zijn schat er weer zien. Is er al iets te zien? Nou, kom eens een kijkje nemen. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing and if you want to enable me to keep making videos like this, please consider becoming a Patreon member. I will share your name in my videos and you will get early access and way more perks. Check it out on patreon.com slash jensmakeradventures.